We will recite the second form confidently. I confess, O Almighty God, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, we say our Father, your Lord and glory be for all mothers of our congregation, especially for your own mother. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. May our Lord, Jesus Christ, absolve you, and with his outlet invested in me, I absolve you from all your sins, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The entrance him. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during forty days and speaking about the kingdom of God. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, day by day, God our salvation, who carries us. Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Holy and noble aims. 
On this day, dedicated to the honor of our Mother, we ask that you would bless all mothers of our congregation, empower them to lovingly fulfill the obligations you have given them, as they look to the example of Mary, the Blessed Mother of Jesus, and to the lives of all devoted and holy women. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in the city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for had not yet been fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that will be the will of God, than for doing evil. 
For Christ also suffered for our sins once, the righteousness for the sake of the unrighteousness, that he may lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. This is the word of the Lord. because it neither sees nor knows him, but you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave the orphans, I will come to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Today, on this special day, Mother's Day is offered for all mothers of our congregation, for God's blessing upon them, and also for eternal life for all deceased mothers of our parish and gifts of our home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and Jesus Christ. Amen. St. Peter said, Sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, like all Christians, Christian mothers do. 
So happy Mother's Day to all mothers here, all mothers of our parish. And also happy Mother's Day to all of you, because everyone has a part of her or his mother. And we are here in this church and we came for this world because of our mothers. A mother is the truest friend we have. When trials heavy and sudden fall upon us, when adversity takes the place of prosperity, when friends who rejoice with us in our sunshine desert us when troubles thicken around us, still will she cling to us and endeavor by her kind precepts and counsels to dissipate the clouds of darkness and cause peace to return to our heart. So we honor all mothers for their tenacious love. We honor them for the tremendous impact they have. And we honor them because where they are, there is, that is where home is. Therefore today, we thank God for our mothers living and deceased. Only God knows what they went through to bring us into this world and the sacrifices they made for us. They made God's love real for us. They express God's love by loving their children and others. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ our Lord, today we also reflect on something Jesus said at the Last Supper. I will not leave you orphan. I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the Spirit of Truth. The Spirit of Truth is the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. What Jesus is saying is that he will come back to the Apostles in the power of his Holy Spirit to keep defending, helping and protecting them just like he did before. And it happened. You can really see the change if you compare the apostles before and after Pentecost. Before Pentecost they were cowards who betrayed, denied and abandoned Jesus. They didn't understand him. They were self-centered, worried about who would be greatest among them. They still wanted Jesus to be the kind of Messiah who would rescue Israel from the Romans. But after Pentecost, that all changed. They were fearless. They were arrested and told not to preach about Jesus. They were beaten and Stephen was stoned by death. But they kept on preaching about Jesus. They all died as martyrs for Christ except John, who they tried to kill several times, but because they couldn't, they exiled him to an island. They no longer cared about who would be greatest among them. Their minds were open to understand the scriptures. More important, now they understood the kind of Messiah Jesus had to be. Brothers and sisters, what does that tell you? It tells you just one thing. You are going to be transformed in the same way. And everything you have ever seen or heard about Jesus is going to become who you are. For example, in this Mass and in every Mass, we relive, I mean it really will really happens, Jesus dies and is resurrected on that altar. Do you know why that is so important? Because in that death and resurrection, Jesus reaches down and takes all your sacrifices and all the good things you have ever done. 
and joins them to his own. Now this is going to blow you away. Your sacrifice becomes his sacrifice, and his sacrifice becomes your sacrifice. That means God's love for you, of dying for you, and that cross is going to come inside your heart and become a part of who you are. So what's the catch? First, there is something you have to do. He just said, you will receive my spirit if you love me and obey the commandments I give you. What are those commandments? They can be summed up in one supreme commandment Jesus gave us that covers everything. Love God by loving others. And as we know, the mother's love is the best example how to love God. If you can love God by loving others, guess what? You will automatically love Jesus. You will automatically have the spirit of truth and the spirit of Jesus inside your heart. That sounds kind of circular. If you love God by loving others, like all Christian mothers love their children, we receive the Holy Spirit. But at the same time, we need the Holy Spirit to love God by loving others. So which comes first? You know what? Don't worry about it. Just do it. Love God by loving others, and the Holy Spirit will set your heart on fire, so your heart burns with the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will bear witness to Jesus. The Holy Spirit will teach you and guide you and empower you to live the truth taught by Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit will give you all the faith, hope, and love. You need to face any form of suffering, doubt, and temptation. In fact, the Holy Spirit of Jesus will transform you into Jesus. My dear friends, I would like to conclude these reflections with a mother's prayer, a ma the words of one mother. If I live in a house of spotless beauty, with everything in its place, but have not love, I am a housekeeper, not a homemaker. If I have time for waxing, polishing and decorative achievements, but have not love. My children learn cleanliness, not godliness. Love lives that does in search of a child's love. Love smiles at the tiny fingerprints on a newly cleaned window. Love wipes away the tears before it wipes up the spilled milk. Love picks up the child before it picks up the toys. Love is present through the trials. Love reprimands, reproves, and is responsive. Love crawls with the baby, walks with the toddler, runs with the child, then stands aside to let the youth walk into adulthood. Love is the key that opens salvation message to a child's heart. Before I became a mother, I took glory in my house of perfection. Now I glory in God's perfection of my child. As a mother, there is much I must teach my child, but the greatest of all is love. God bless our mothers for teaching us how to love. And God bless all of you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all the seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, like and like, true God from true God, 
begotten and not made, of one man with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified and upon his Bible. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again and fulfilled unto the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have the right. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and the Son. He is worthy of the Lord of God. He has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge with baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Confident that He will provide for us, let us bring our concerns in prayer to our Heavenly Father. Let the Spirit of truth may dwell always in the midst of our church and parish community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve as bishops, priests, and deacons, that they reveal the love of God in their humble service to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who govern or make laws, that they will do so in obedience to the Ten Commandments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's blessing upon all mothers of our congregation and those who have been like a mother to us, that they inspire us to great love by their witness of their love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers in heart who have been unable to have children that their motherly instincts may be fulfilled by caring for significant others in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers whose children have died, that they may expect a joyous and fulfilling reunion beyond this life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of this is mothers of our parish and our own, that they may share eternal life with Mary, the mother of Jesus, and all the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us, that we will grow in holiness by keeping the commandments and by loving one another in the way that Christ commands us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful Father, reveal to us your saving power and make us instruments of grace to all the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
Premai, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. The praise of the Lord in His name. For our good and good and the name of His Holy Church. Amen. Merciful Father, send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts as a sure pledge of your heavenly kingdom. May the same Spirit bear witness within us that we are your children, heirs of your kingdom. Almighty God and Heavenly Father, help us to honor our mothers, that our days may be long in the land which you have given us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Set and approve this offering in our make to you, and let it be pleasing to you. 
Fill it with the power of the Holy Spirit, and let it become for us the body and the blood of your Son of our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before he suffered and died, our Lord desired to make his love known to his disciples and all who would follow him. He therefore instituted the sacred mystery by which he joined himself with them, spiritually invited his whole being, and abides with us forever. At that moment, so sacred for all of humanity, Jesus stood bright with his holy hands and looking up to heaven, to you, his Almighty Father, he gave to them. He blessed the bread, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body which is given for you. When supper had ended, he took the cup. In the same way, he gave to them, blessed it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. And so the man he do this, do it in remembrance of me. <clears throat> Father, in celebration the memory of Jesus Christ, your Son, we are before of his passion, resurrection from the dead and ascension into glory. For the many gifts you have given us, we offer with it to your holy and spotless offering, the holy bread of life and the holy cup of eternal salvation. Look, have rabbi, on these offerings and accept them, as you once adopted the gifts of your servant Abel and the sacrifice of our father in faith, Abraham, and the bread and wine offered by your priest, Melchizedek. In humility we ask, Father, that it is how far is we carried by your angel to your high altar in heaven, so that we who receive the sacred body and blood of your son from this altar may be filled with your grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, our brothers and sisters, all mothers who have died and have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. May this and all who rest in Christ find happiness, light, and peace. And we do trust in your love, cause us to be included in the fellowship of your holy apostles, martyrs, and saints who offered their lives to you. They were filled with your justice and mercy because they live in accord with the teachings of Jesus, gained eternal joy. Count us some of them, Father. Not because of what we truly desire, but because you are willing to forgive us. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, by whom you give us all of these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness, you bless them and make them holy. <coughs> Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the Lord, our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the time of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the participation in the blood of Christ? 
Dabere, which we break, is it not the participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we are many one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of the divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not forget our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, that you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord.
Spare us, O Lord. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That we may be found worthy of the promises of Christ. Under your protection, we would not each day. Blessed Mother, we beseech thee. Mother, we beseech thee. Mother, we beseech thee. Turn not from the need of your children, but from all the evils of us. But from all the evils of us. Mother, ever protect us. Virgin, most gracious, gracious and most blessed. O Mother, O Mother, O Mother Mary, Mother, plead for us. You who pray for us, Mother of our Mother, with your Son now pray for us. Unto your blessed Son, pray for us. Unto your blessed Son, pray for us. O Mother, O Mother, O Mother Jesus, Mother of the Holy Spirit, you who pray for us, Mother of our Mother. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And let perpetual life shine upon us. We come before you on this Mother's Day to pray for our own special mothers. May they be gifted with goodness and grace, peace and contentment, wisdom and patience, and abundant love and joy. Bless you, all the mothers who now rest with you in the heart of the earth. May the honor of their love and care and richness sustain us always. Gracious and loving Mary, pray for all mothers of our parish. On this, the special day, Amen. 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 